people with rotten teeth in England since 2018. Now, that's according to new figures obtained from a freedom of information request by the Liberal Democrats, and it paints a bleak picture for the country's dental health. Over 16,000 under-18s were admitted to hospital with tooth decay last year alone. In the past five years, there's been a total of 218,000 hospital admissions, including adults. Well, joining us to discuss this further is cosmetic dentist and practice owner, Dr. Sheraz Alim. Uh, I'm really shocked when I read uh, these numbers, uh, Sheraz, but, but from your experience, does it come as any surprise to you just how bad the nation's teeth, and particularly our younger generation? No, not are? really. It's, um, it's been going on for years. I used to work in the healthcare system a long time ago, and it was particularly bad then. And the real issue is the, you know, these figures are quite damning, but the, the real issue is patients or kids have, are having to wait like nine months to get an appointment. So they're suffering for nine months before they go into um, hospital to have their teeth removed. And of course, it's a really complicated problem, isn't it? Because if they can't see a dentist, then obviously you can't intervene. At the same time, you can't get to see a dentist yeah. because something like 90% of uh, adults can't get a, a, a dental appointment or can't register with a dentist, 80% of children. We need to intervene far earlier. But also, w right. where's the role of parental responsibility here in yeah. terms of diet? That's huge. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. So the real issue here is diet because if you even if you brush your teeth five times a day, if you've got a very high sugary diet, you're going to get dental decay. Mm. So that's a fact. So it's, it, that's, the, that's the real issue. But then you've got the whole issue of deprivation, which is massive within the UK, your cost of living. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, healthy diets are quite expensive to, you know, maintain. So it's, it's not so, so you're saying people who are struggling in a cost of living crisis are moving to uh, foods which are cheaper, Correct. which are high in calories, high in sugar, for example, and that has an impact on children's yeah, teeth. Definitely. Yeah, 100%. Uh, how much of this also is to do with the dental contract? I spoke to a dentist at the weekend just saying that actually the dental contract isn't fit for purpose because the way you're, well, not the way that NHS dentists are paid is there is a banding system. Mm -hmm. and, and the amount that the dentists are paid and they're independent contractors simply isn't enough for them to want to have children as part of their NHS practice or indeed adults. So I'm not really in that system anymore. So it's difficult for me to comment. But when I was in the system, it was, it was very difficult. Um, and the real issue is access and also you know, people are not able to get uh, oral health advice and those I mean, kind of things. That's part of Labour's policy pledge, isn't it, for the next election, that actually uh, it's going to be teachers that are doing it. Preschool clubs, breakfast clubs, for example, having to encourage teeth brushing yeah. in children. I mean, to be talking about this in 2024, that we've got 73 children yeah. every day having teeth removed as a result of decay. You know, it's archaic, yeah, really, yeah, isn't it, to, to think about that? We've got a lot of comments coming in uh, to us. Uh, Alessio says this government should provide a stable health care system in this country. We shouldn't be blaming the parents who are struggling to make ends meet for not taking mm. care of their kids. When you're living from paycheck to paycheck or even worse, dental care is the least of your concerns. Um, Gareth says, what upsets me more is that we're constantly paying our fair share into NHS dentistry and we are not even getting these basic services back. Where is the money going? Well, I found out that in 21 and 22, the NHS contribution to dentistry was about £2.3 billion. As someone who trained as a medic, the thing I've never understood is why they're separated, because oral health yes. is key to your physical health. So clearly what we need to do is to bring the dentist and the doctors back together under one unifying umbrella yeah totally agree it shouldn't be seen as separate i mean oral health care dental health care is the same as medical health care so i mean i know in other countries they do deem it like that but over here there is a separate entity for it which i, I agree is not, doesn't and isn't right. that the problem that's why many people have left nhs dentistry is because you couldn't make a living you couldn't make the, the numbers work and actually having a private practice uh, might be might be better for, for those individual practitioners. I mean, everyone makes their own choices, but it depends on what type of dentistry you want to do. The NHS dentistry is very basic dentistry, so you're, you're able, it's almost become just an access centre where you do the basics, extractions, some fillings. And, you know, if you want to do more advanced things, you know, like 
really uh, make people smile and do smile makeovers and things like that. You just can't do that on the NHS. So. Um, you, you've teed me up nicely to talk about Kanye West because talk of a <laughs> yeah. smile makeover. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we've got a picture of him. He has a new $850,000 titanium dentures. I mean, it looks to me like he's wrapped some tin foil over his teeth, personally. But that's $850,000 yeah. that he's spent on those. What would it take to do that kind of treatment? So it's very interesting. Um, my ceramist is based in California, and he knows the dentist as well as the person who carried out this work. So we had a, we had a chat about it last night. Um, Has he had his teeth no. taken out? So the, the what I was reading earlier... Some reports think, said he'd had all yeah. of his teeth so removed in order to do this. The dentist has clearly said that no teeth were removed. Right. Um, this dentist, he's quite famous for doing these kind of extreme cases and he's done a couple of other rappers, but this is the most extreme. So, so what would he have done here? If he's left the teeth in, then clearly somehow this titanium yeah. thing is bolted to those teeth. How, how did he's, it... They must have shaved the teeth out, for sure. So, <gasps> sh sh what, shaved oh, them no, down to stumps? I can't... Yeah. Oh, it's making Which is, my teeth feel... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't comment on no. it. I haven't seen the pictures. But why would the... you do that? Why would you want to have titanium? Also, there is an issue. He has bipolar disease. Now, I don't argue that that means he's not really in a fit state to consent and consent is very important that's exactly what I was like this. yeah because as you know bipolar one day you could be feeling great and the next day you're the opposite so if, on the day that he's not he's feeling like he wants to have this this smile this this a bizarre smile should we say um the next day he might say i don't want to do that but then what do you do it's not it's it's, it's not reversible because if he's had his teeth shaved yes yeah, so this is more than just veneers or no. grills or anything else this is quite extreme yeah grills is normally something where you do not have to touch the teeth it just goes on top this he's had um, diamonds put on his teeth before hasn't he or diamond teeth this is even more this expensive. is this is drastic can you even eat so teeth like that? according to the dentist he's got perfect phonetics which means he can speak perfectly They've, they've managed to, to make his envelope a function, which is how you kind of speak and, and, and move to be, to be good. I don't know how they do that. Mastication, I don't think you know until you've tried it. So chewing. Yeah, I mean, uh, it looks like it's, it's got teeth at the back, but I don't know how well that functions. And when I mean, we talked about consent and, you know, whether or not you would actually do that. I mean, that wouldn't have been a, a short process. That's not no. like having a couple too many pints and getting a tattoo and waking up the next morning, is it? I mean, that is serious. You speak serious. from experience, though, do you? <laughs> no, no. Uh, but that is serious, serious yeah. work. The precision they've done in making this is, from the, from the pictures I've seen, they've, they've gone out of their way to make this prosthesis, you know, fit and, and look really good. But, I mean, not look really good, but, you know, be functional. Because they've checked how his phonetics are, which is quite difficult. But, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's not reversible from my understanding. And, of course, that reminds me of the uh, of the character Jaws in the James Bond movies as well. There he is. Look at him. I mean, I was terrified of him as a child. What still sort am. Of well, I still am. What, what message is this sending out, though, to young children, impressionable children, saying, you know, we, we, on one hand, we're saying brush your teeth. On the other, we're saying that if you become rich and famous, you can have titanium... You can get rid of them and have a titanium implant put in. Um, I mean, he's an artist. He does quite bizarre things so you know i think it's kind of he's quite unique so i don't know how many people would aspire to just i don't think, think i'll get people coming to me saying please can you give me <laughs> this just think how far that eight hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars could have gone in nhs dentistry well that's true um indeed. thank you very much indeed uh, for giving us your 